Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be looking at Zotac 3080s loaded on Mystic Miner. We've got 12 of these cards. We're gonna be testing out if they perform better than Octominer, they perform better than open air Zotacs. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell, go to CryptoLLC.org. If you want us to set you up a GPU or ASIC mining farm, or if you wanna buy yourself some GPUs and ASICs, we have a marketplace at CryptoLLC.org. Prices are rock bottom for GPUs and ASICs. Best time to jump in is today. Let's check out our site, CryptoLLC.org. Before we get started, Bitcoin saves your wealth. Jesus Christ saves your soul. All right, today's video, we are going to be looking at the Zotac. These are 3080s. They're not TIs, they're not 3090s, just straight 3080. Zotac, these are th three, uh, three fan cards. One, two, three. And the point of today's video is to see if Mystic Miner does a good job cooling off these cards. That's all we want to know. We have some loaded on open air. If you look over here, we have some on open air. Working great, but we want to know, will these perform better? Will the VRAM be cooler on Mystic Miner? So that's the point of today's video. All right, let's get started. So first thing we're going to look at is we're gonna look at the spacing between the card. We got this really, really bright blue light, really messing with the camera. But still, you can see the spacing there. It's very, very small. It's a lot worse spacing than the 3080 FE cards or the 3080 turbos. It's like a, I would say like maximum half an inch, probably like a quarter inch if you look. Uh, let me get you guys a good shot here. If I can get a good shot. Kind of like right there, you see that? It's like some cards are a little less than half an inch. Some cards are a quarter inch. Very, very, very close. Uh, they spin fine, but it's pretty close. So not much air is gonna be traveling between the cards, but we'll see what impact that will have on these cards because again mystic miner we're setting it to maximum fan speed so we're going to force that air between the cards we'll see how it reacts a couple of other things to note on mystic miner that will be this metal piece is holding back a lot of the airflow from the top of the cards so you got air traveling from the fans over the top hit in this corner that's bad um, so the, the air has to either hit the corner and then turn around and go out here so it hits here comes around goes back there or it has to squeeze between the cards which is possible but again we'll see if that's gonna work out or not I don't know why video is so uh, dark these cards are like, really messy. the blue color is really messing with the camera hopefully you guys got yourself some some close-ups of that so before I move on let me try to give you guys some more slow-mo here try to get some better lighting now this is a test rig this is our over the previous videos when we ran 3080 turbos and T and uh, TI's 3080 TI's FE cards and so on it's a test rig so it's running an SSD on the side here this is how Mystic Miner runs their wires. Um, very ugly. Other than that, uh, we'll see what, how it goes. Now it's got six fans, rather than the Octo Miner's five, so it's got an extra fan. That's good. Now from this side here. So it's very, very tight. So the plan is to put the lid on and then at the end we're going to have the results video where we'll compare it to Octominer, compare it to Open Air and uh, see where we are. Now if you guys want to see other videos about Mystic Miner we have other cards. Um, at the end of all these series of different videos we will uh, then create like an overview of Mystic Miner, our final thoughts on it. 
final thoughts on Octominer. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Hit like on the video. All right, let me get that uh, the lid on. All right, we got our lid on. Fans are at 100% speed. So I twisted that knob all the way. Show you guys the back. That's how Zoltax looked like from the back side here. So now we're gonna stabilize and get those results. All right, we got the results here. So Mystic Miner, this is taken at 77 degrees. This is Zoltac. And here are the results. The results are really, really good. You can see we have three uh, cards that do not have any fan. And we have two of them in there. The other one has a glitch, I think, or it doesn't really matter. So you can kind of take two. I think it's this one with the glitch. But you can take this one right here, no fans. And this one up here, no fans, right? And look at the results. 57, 96, no fans. 57. 396, no fans. See, 0%, 0%. 99, 99. It's full load. The card is working great. Now, again, outside is 77. So it's 77 outside. There's no way that our warehouse is 77 inside. It's usually warmer. So inside, it could be you know 80 or 85 or whatever, because usually always warmer inside. With uh, You can't really blow out all the heat all at once. So it's warmer inside. So you can see the results here. Results are really good. Basically, every single card is fully loaded. We only have two cards here. This one right here, uh, 96. So it's 1,100 on the core, 22 on the memory here. So it's fully loaded on the core memory for all the cards. Also, the, all the cards are working auto fan. You can see some of them are working at 50%, 56, 85, 90, 55, and so on. But uh, we're basically having only two cards that down clocked a little bit. This one right here down clocked a couple of points from 99 to 96, that's four points, or three points actually, three, four, uh, three points, because it hit that threshold of 104, right? Even though our core is 50, that's a really good core. So it, um, I have to kind of investigate this card because it's very interesting, because the, the cards around it are cool. Like this one right here, look how cool it is, 96, 91. And then also this fan has not spit in at 100. So it might just be, uh, a little glitch or maybe I should have refreshed the page a little before I took the screenshot who knows this card up here this is the thing about mystic miner is that the top cards are really close to the PSU and that top card uh, I guess it doesn't have real good airflow at the top of it so you can imagine there's a PSU up here right there's a PSU like up here and the card is down here and there's I don't think there's enough air between those uh, two units, the card and the PSU, and I think that's what's causing this to heat up a little bit. So we lost, uh, let's see, about 10% speed on this one card. So out of 12 cards, we lost 10% on one card. So that means that we lost less than 1% of the speed, right? There's actually 12 cards, and only one of them lost 10%. The rest of them are working 100%. So we basically lost less than 1% of performance, which is really good. Now again, this is fixable. Uh, we're talking to Mystic Miner, and uh, if we are you know, putting any bigger orders in the future, we'll tell them to fix this issue so they create a different Mystic Miner, like a little bit more space at the top, a different version basically, a different prototype, and uh, that, that issue will be fixed. That's one way to fix it. The other one is um, maybe you'll take a look at the fans. They might have, maybe they're, I don't know, maybe they've been a little clogged up, or maybe take a look at the thermal pads, whatever it is. It's a small thing. But other than that, it's working great. So here is Mystic Miner, Roberto. So these are Zotax working perfectly. Again, we have two of them without fans and those are working perfect. Look at this, it's great, 96, 96. Uh, so we can take off all of these fans off of all the cards and just plug them in with no fans at all. That'll create more space um, to cool off the card and that'll get rid of these fans from wasting a little bit of energy and then also give them us more space. And uh, if, as you guys know, Zotac fans are not the best, so they do tend to break. And so not having them in the system at all is great. You're, you know, they're not gonna be breaking because they don't exist, they're actually removed. Um, but other than that, everything looks great. So that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys like it, you know what to do. Hit like, subscribe to the bell, go to cryptollc.org.
if you're looking for us to set you up a GPU or ASIC mining farm. Now we have access to these cards, uh, direct access, can't say what company, can't say who, but give you an idea that we can get thousands of these units if need be. So if you're looking to set up thousands and thousands and thousands of units, we can do that. Or if you're looking to set up uh, just maybe 100 cards or 200 cards or something like that, we can do that as well. Or if you're looking for ASICs, we can also we also have access to thousands of ASICs. So check out our site, CryptoLLC.org, our marketplace there. You can look at our prices. You can also buy directly from Bitmain if you wanted to, or you can buy from us. Um, all depends on the price and what you're comfortable with. Right now is the best time to get in. So if you guys are just interested in mining, but you don't know when to jump in, you don't know when to pull the trigger, right now is the best time. Bitcoin is low, it's about 20K right now. Great, pr great price for Bitcoin if you want to mine because the best time to jump in, you can get A6 for uh, the S19 uh, J Pro, they're like $3,500. So it's a lot cheaper than before. They used to be like 6,000, 8,000, now they're 35. So it's a great time to jump in. That's gonna be it for this one and I hope you guys like it. And until next time, bye.